Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. Uh, we're playing here, we're drawing, uh, we got our boat done in here, but now we got to put this thing on the river and we want the mountains in the background and this is a familiar Chattanooga scene. This is not stuff that we're just pulling out of the air somewhere. You know, and we got our Tennessee River Bank. You know, it's just meandering down, coming down through here and it's, it's going to be over here somewhere and just kind of catch where a river bank might be. Let's keep going back and forth over. Now, with a boat that size, river bank's only going to be about that high. It's going to look like it's about that high. Uh, and it keeps getting bigger the further up the river it comes. We're just going to try to establish where we want that to be. And we'll have some trees going along the river bank. So all we're trying to do right now is just kind of establish what's going to be where. And we'll have the trees back here. One of my boats just coming up the river. We we'll might have a few trees laying over into the river bank because that's... If you've been down on the Tennessee River, that's not uncommon to see trees that got washed off the bank into the river. Where things might be on here. And I'm not really worried about the shape so much yet, it's just where I want to place this. And kind of carry this on up into here. We have big old trees up in here. And remember the farther up the river it comes, a little bit bigger these trees might get. And got some different sized trees in there. And might have another one laying off in here, a couple side by side there. And just where over time the river bank cut back under them big old oak trees and laid them in the river. Actually they were mostly maples. Sycamores. Uh, big old sycamore trees. They didn't get huge on that river bank. So we kind of got kind of a bank there. Uh, so we know about where the river bank's going to be. Coming up here and coming up here and again it just keeps coming up and going up the river. Just kind of disappearing down there. Little trees down there. Guys, ain't nothing more fun than this. If y'all enjoy this much like this, all you do, you can go out and paint everything. We're going to do some live air painting next week. Good. That's where these ideas come from. Driving around Chattanooga, you see all these neat things. Chattanooga's famous for its backdrop. We're going to have that coming in here. And you got Kind of big old lookout mountain standing majestically looking over all this scenery and coming down in here. That's where the Tennessee River goes. It comes down this valley and actually turns, goes back around the foot of that mountain. So we're gonna have a lookout mountain standing here with all the trees and all that on there. We'll get that. And you'll see this a lot in my paintings. I just I love this mountain. I love the shape of the mountain. Uh, and that's why they call it Lookout Mountain, because the very point looks over all the Chattanooga out there. And so we're gonna have that mountain up here. Well, the top of that mountain comes in here. Comes back, kind of drifts off here, and keeps on just wandering on back. And we'll have more hills and valleys here. And we'll establish the shape of that mountain, how it kind of goes around the bend a little bit. And guys, it just, it'll be a fun thing to do to get painted in there. And in Chattanooga, you got a lot of mountains all come together right in this area. Lookout Mountain is pretty much just the highest point there. But you got Raccoon Mountain and Walden's Ridge and all these mountains and you have mountains going back into mountains back into there. Different other mountains heading back down. Sand Mountain, Raccoon Mountain and another mountain going up over here somewhere. And we'll get all these painted in before long. You know, we might even throw a little old cabin over here on the river bank. See, this is how you draw with a brush. Watch this. Let's throw it. And I guess that's the dark side of the cabin. The sun's going to be coming from over here. Now we know where our shadows are going to cast. We got our reflection. I was asked a question, and I thought it was a pretty good question. You know, the shadow's going to cast this way, but a reflection always comes directly to the eye. So if you're looking at something on the water, you're not going to see a reflection going off at an angle. That reflection is always going to be coming directly towards your nose because it's the way the eye focuses. Shadows cast. We can cast a shadow this way. That's, that's okay. But the reflections are going to be coming this way because we're standing on this river bank looking out here at this boat coming up the river. It's always going to be coming towards the eye. And so we get a little roof on this out here, a little overhang there. We might even put a front porch on it. Bring down some uh, old country cedar post holding that front porch up there. We might even put a chimney on it. Like I see how it's developing. That kind of looks like a chimney on a little old cabin on the river bank. You know, we'll have a window under here and a little door going in that cabin there. And maybe another window back under there. And we put the porch out here. 
Probably no hound dog sitting out there somewhere. But you know, this was life on the river. These were these were mountain folks back on the Tennessee on the Tennessee, living on the Tennessee River. Used to be where the Cherokee Indian trod these for thousands of years. The Indian folks have trod up and down these rivers. They say for ten thousand years, they got artifacts right here, right where I'm doing this painting. They got artifacts on this river. They're ten thousand years old. The Indians that lived in this river, lived on the Tennessee River. Boy, wouldn't that be glorious? Live on that Tennessee River. You go catfishing and see every reflection you have there. Again, guess what you're gonna have here? Don't be afraid to paint in here. Now we're gonna paint over. Most of these reflections are gonna disappear when we start putting the color of the water and the color of the sky. But enough of it will stay behind. So it casts that reflection into the river. And this is your river bank here. I'm gonna cut that bank about in half. For the half that's above and half that reflects into the water. Does that make sense? We hope so. You'll see when I start painting how all this develops. Why that come here? I'll tell you what guys, this is gonna be a neat little picture. We're gonna take some time We'll do this a little more than we normally do, but this is going to be a fun picture to do. So we kind of got an idea of where that side of the river bank is going to go. And so we kind of got to capture this side of the river bank. So the Tennessee River don't go on down that way. He just came around the bend of the river. He's just kicking up his little ball of foam back here. He just made his turn. He's turning towards Chattanooga. He's heading up the river to Chattanooga. And so we'll have another river bank over here. This will cast this reflection. It's, now it's closer to us, so it's going to be higher than that over there. And there's the water line. And we'll have trees. Oh, those are upside down trees. There's the trees. I don't think it really matters which one you paint first. But just, you know, we're going to have big old trees over here on this bank. We might even have an Indian or two running up down the river bank over there. That's the spirit of the Cherokee. Yeah, you got trees back there in the background somewhere. Guys, tell a story when you paint a picture. Have a story in your mind of what you want this to be. We're not painting an apple or a pear. We're painting Tennessee River with steamboats coming up the river. We might even have to put a John boat drifting down there towards the other bank with somebody sitting in there catfishing. You know, well, we already done that picture. But, you know, why not? Why not do those type of things? Let's get these trees in here. And the foreground will be a lot. A lot more detail in the foreground than there is in the distance. We'll try to do this picture. I think we've pretty much got enough drawn on here, but we can start putting some paint to it. I'll tell you what, when we come back, we're going to start painting. Y'all come.